weavers often belong to the communities that are specialized in weaving their skills were passed from generation to generation these skills were very very good some of the communities of weaving of the bengal are tanti weavers the julas or momin weavers are the communities which are specialized in weaving of the north india sel kai kolar and the wangs of the south india are some communities famous for weaving the first stage of production was by spinning this is the work which is mostly done by women the cherka and takli were household spinning instruments the thread was spun on the ch- cherka and rolled on the takli when the spinning was over the thread was woven into a cloth by the weaver in most of the communities weaving was a task done by women not women for colored textiles the thread was dyed by the dyer also known as rangrees these are the rangrees which we are seeing in the picture we can see them how they are dyeing with the two sticks for having designs and printing the cloth with the separate printers which are known as chippy gars or the block print printers hand loom weaving and the occupations associated with it provided a livelihood for many of the millions of the indians let us have a glimpse on what we learned the weavers are specialized in weaving that is the first point and second one their skills were passed from generation to another and sec- what are the communities of weaving they are the tanti weavers of bengal the julas or momin weavers of north india and sel and kai kolar and divangs of the south india these are the communities of weavers in india and now next is what we learnt is next one the for color textiles the thread was dyed by the dyer known as rangrees what are rangrees who are chipigars and how does handloom held in india as a for the people 